Hi guys, so in this video, I will teach you on how to solve the angle between two lines the fastest way. So, let's recall yung slope muna. So, the slope is given by, you have the slope M is given by your rise all over run. Or, you have rise as change in Y all over change in X. Or your slope will be, you have y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Now, the angle of inclination of this line is given by theta here. So, your angle theta, you have tangent of theta will be your opposite over adjacent that is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 or your slope. Therefore, your angle theta here is equal to your arc tan of your slope. Now, suppose we have two lines. So, if the lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So, if you have equation 1 and uh, line 2, line 1 and line 2, if they are parallel, they, their slope are equal. The lines are tangent to each other or perpendicular. Say so, M1 is equal to the negative reciprocal of the other slope. So, it means that these two lines are tangent to each other. So, you can derive that using your trigonometry. Now, let's say we are required to find the angle between two lines. So, we have the formula in finding that angle. For example, we have these two lines, two intersecting lines. You have here line 1. And you have here line 2. So, these two lines, of course, they have slopes. Say, M1 and M2. So, we have the angle between those two lines. So, in various books, we have the formula in finding the angle. So, you have tangent of theta is equal to M2 minus M1 over 1 plus M2 times M1. Or, theta is equal to, you have arctan of M2 minus M1 all over 1 plus M2 times M1. So, we have here our ready-made formula. So, what if you forgot the formula? So, I have a technique or strategy in solving this type of problem without even using this formula. So, first, let's analyze the, pub, uh, the figure. Suppose we have two lines here. We have... So, this is line 2 and this is line 1 so this is y this is x so this angle here you have angle 1 and this angle here you have say angle 2 so the angle between those lines is this angle let's say theta so theta is actually equal to theta sub 2 minus this theta sub 1. Now, what is theta sub 2 and what is theta sub 1? So, as we recall, that the angle, you have tangent of angle theta is just equal to your slope. Okay? It means that angle will be arctan of your slope. So it means that this angle theta is equal to arctan of slope 2 minus arctan of slope 1. So this is our alternate solution. So, yung pinakaunang form natin is what you call the point-slope form. So, ano ba yung point-slope form? So, point-slope form is galing lang naman siya sa slope na equation. So, bale, 
all of the equation ng line is galing lang talaga siya sa slope. So, iba-iba lang ang form niya. But, the concept is the same. Galing lang siya lahat sa slope. So, yung point slope form is given by you have y minus y1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So, this is the point slope form. Now, we have what we call the slope intercept form. So, the slope intercept form is equal to is given by y is equal to mx plus b. So, yung m natin, that is the slope. So, bakit siya tinawag na slope intercept form? Because, you have the slope, then you have the y-intercept. So, b ang y-intercept niya. Because, if x is 0, y equals b. So, it means that b is your y-intercept. For example, you have this line. So, this line have a slope, m, then your y-intercept, b. And the third, you have the two-point form. So, two-point form, it means that you are given two points. So, you have, dito lang lang naman siya galing sa point slope form. So, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. So, yung slope is not given. So, it means that bibigyan ka niya ng dalawang point para mahanap mo yung m dito. For example, you have so given ka ng two points sa uh, line say x1 y1 then x2 y2. So yung slope natin, so y minus y sub 1 equals you have y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, times x minus x sub 1. So, this is your 2-point form. Bibigyan ka ng dalawang point para makuha mo yung m. So, bali, galing lang naman siya sa point slope form. Now, yung fourth na equation of the line is what you call the intercept form. Bibigyan ka ng x and y intercept. So, ang form is equal to so, yung formula is given by x equals uh, x over a plus y over b equals 1. In where a and b are your x and y intercept. Example, you have this curve. So, given ka ng b, you have the a. And connecting those points creates a line. So, this is intercept form. So, x over a plus y over b equals 1. So, you are given uh, the intercept of your line. Now, proceed tayo doon sa angle. So, diniscuss ko lang yung line kasi important siya in finding the slope given ka ng line. So, yung line natin, summarize natin lahat. Yung general equation ng line is given by a x plus b y plus c equals 0. So, lahat na to, na equation of line niya, will just, re will just reduce to your general equation of the line. So, now in this problem, you are required to find the angle form between lines. Now, wag na tayong gumamit ng formula. So, diretso na tayo dun sa alternate solution. So, ang first step lang naman is kukunin natin yung slope ng dalawang lines. So, first step, find the slope. Say, for equation 1, you have, so, y equals, you have negative 2x plus 8. So, the slope is, so, ang form niya is y is equal to mx plus b. So, yung m niya is negative 2. So, let's say the slope of this line is, say, equation 1 is negative 2. Now, let's proceed to the second line. So, that is x plus 3y plus 4 equals 0. So, you have 3y equals so negative x minus 4. So, divide both sides by 3. We have y equals negative x over 3 minus we have 4 thirds. Now, the slope of this line from uh, equation 2 or line 2 is equal to you have negative one third. Now we compare which slope 
is larger. So, we have the larger slope, negative one-third. So, ang magiging form natin is, we have theta equals, pero tandaan nyo lang guys, palaging yung mas malaki yung mauuna. Ima-minus natin yung maliit na slope dun sa malaking slope. So, arc tan, yung maliit na slope, negative one-third, minus arc tan of yung M1, negative 2. So, automatically, kahit wala ka ng formula, masolve mo na yung angle between lines. So, you have arc tan. So, be sure guys na naka-degrees tayo. Ah. Degrees. So, mode, uh, shift mode, you have degrees. Then, arc tan, you have negative 1 third minus so, arc tan negative 2. So, you have 45 degrees. Itong procedure guys na ginagamit natin is very useful kasi mas madali siya kumpara doon sa mga formula na ginagamit. Then, you will arrive at the same answer. So, that's it guys. So, I hope that you learn from this topic. So, next topic, proceed tayo. So, tuloy-tuloy lang yung review natin until machine design. So, continue lang natin yung analytic geometry hanggang conic sections then proceed na tayo sa differential and integral calculus. Hanggang matapos natin ang math, we have the physics and hanggang thermodynamics na yun. Engineering mechanics, statics, and dynamics. See you on my next video guys.